Do you want to do the intro? Why not? Because all of your videos with me in it, it starts with us arguing. What, like now you mean? Right guys, welcome back. I'm Dan, this is Dan's a lot of hat. Because we're now in lockdown 3.0, I can't get out to any shops or boot sales or anything like that to buy stock. So I uh, took advantage of uh, Northern Pole's uh, Christmas sale. Anyway, took advantage of Northern Pole's Christmas New Year's sale. Um, I bought a load of stuff. I can't remember how much I, I bought. 17 <laughs> kilograms. 17 kilograms apparently. So doesn't sound like a lot. But hey ho, got my trusty knife. I'll get my wife to get the, put the knife out because I can't be trusted. I haven't got any nails. Oh, there you go. There you go, my trusty helper. Hopefully I don't cut anything as I go into it. <laughs> right, so for memory, there should be corduroy jeans in here, uh, sports tops, yep. some polos, and maybe anything else that I couldn't remember that I bought was a surprise. So, let's start off. First thing, it's been properly crammed in here, and we have a nice night golf top is that full zip no quarter zip fresh from america still got the tag on it oh uh, we've got a under armor hoodie it's quite nice sort of like a shiny material what do you call that she's not listening Purple. It is purple. Oh, that's got um, the workout thing on it. The workout thing? The logo on that is a well-known... What, that? Under Armour. Oh, it's always called? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was sports. Come on. We're learning. Right, what have we got here? Flat yourself, it's on gym equipment. Uh, a Guinness Premier top. It's quite interesting. It's Nike. Uh, most of this stuff I have no idea on value, um, so I won't even try to tell you. Again, another three quarter zip Adidas. They probably these sorts of things are around about fifteen to eighteen. I think um, with everything I bought, it works out. It, it will owes me about six pounds something. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, what we got here is uh, there's a 20 on the back of it. Storm, no idea what that is. I'll, I'll, say I'll have to do some research. They kind of look like sort of like football y shirts, but thicker. Don't really know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So what's this one? Oh, there's another one of these. With a little bit of uh, damaging on it and in the sport on the back of it. So far not the best. Uh, G Suit Booster Club. Again, the, about the only saving grace for it is it's Nike. I don't really know much more about it. Things can only get better. Uh, another Nike quarter zip. Again, American tag. Well, 
price tag on it. Six ninety nine dollars. <laughs> it's probably about all it's worth. Full River Zocker, Soccer, Zocker, Adidas. It's doing well. Yeah, doing well. And so the price tags are just getting less and less and less. Four dollars forty nine for Champion. Again, it's probably not worth much more than that. another sort of golfing top Adidas um, again another Nike Golf again if anyone sees anything in here and knows what it is then let me know down in the comments below because as I say a lot of it I don't really know much about Obviously I know the brands and I have a general idea of what things are worth, but CX2 Comtech Sounds like a, a jacket for a phone company. I'll get another Nike quarter zip. Again. Nothing particularly fancy. What have we got here? Under Armour. Quarter zip again. And someone just went to the quarter zip section and just went, yep, let's just grab all the quarter zips. Adidas Originals Wanna Be Women's Top 2014. It's quite a personal top. It's got someone's name on it, Lewis. So probably gonna struggle to sell that one. top Puma, I think it's a woman's one judging by size but again there's nothing out of this so far that's really gonna make much money again another Nike Golf 3 quarter larger sizes I suppose that's a plus but Adidas Soccer, full zip, again quite sort of custom, probably not going to be worth a lot. Adidas Fin Hoodie, it's probably about 12 to 14. It's quite a nice Puma one, nice big logos down the side. Relatively new. Oh, we got yeah. another champion hoodie. Again, probably about 15 from Lucky. They are starting to get a little bit better. Adidas one. Shame it's small. Two thousand and ten, so again, not vintage. Seattle United. Uh, oh, we're going to start getting to the corduroys now. Let's find out what we've been given. What have we got here. No brand. Yep, can't see a brand on them. <laughs> I 
Uniglow. But yeah, again, no real value. Roberto Tony. Tonini. Well, I'd have to say so far I am not overly impressed with what I've got here. What have we got? Cross Bill Gola. <laughs> University of Cambridge. Oh, a pair of Levi's, and they're, but then in a really small size. I'm gonna have to double check because I'm pretty sure they were all meant to be branded. Wranglers. Oh, a pair of Wranglers. Stains on them. Like well and truly worn. Okay, another pair of Wranglers. At least we're getting into some relatively okay brands. More Wranglers. brand pair and if I wanted no brand corduroys I'd pick them up in the charity shops of some of these is just horrible. Another pair of Levi's. Another pair of Lee. Oh, some okay brands in here I guess. But... Another pair of Wrangler. Levi's, but again, really small waist, probably more of a woman's pair, to be fair. A pair of polo, probably the best ones in there. Will it make me back my 300 and odd quid that I spent? Probably not. They're not even corduroy. By Dino. I don't really know. <laughs> and the last one, another pair of Levi's. So there's some alright corduroys in here. <laughs> Nothing great. And then I had to bulk it out, so I got a couple of polo shirts. Let's see if we can redeem with polo shirts. Probably not, there's not a lot of money in polo shirts, especially when you get crappy modern Tommy Hill figures. <coughs> Eyes odd, not really too sure on that one. Another crappy Tommy Hill figure one. A US Polo Assassin. And the last one, a Ralph Lauren Chaps. It's not too bad. Not 
great. So in here, we got five vintage three button polo shirts for £20. It's probably about £20 worth of polo shirts there. We got 20 branded track tops jackets for £96. Well, maybe if I can get £10 a top this profit. Vintage branded corduroy jeans. Well, I've got 20 of them. Well, some of them were unbranded. It's £140. That's probably what I'm going to make my most amount of money on. And then five vintage branded hoodie pullovers for £35. I've probably got about £50 worth of hoodies there. So, you know, heard lots of uh, good things about the Northern Pole. That's why I spent with them. Um, I'm pleased I got it in the sale because it should have been um, around about 400 quid for all of that and I got it for I think 303 pound thereabouts so I got 50 items for 300 pound if I can average 10 pound an item I'll still make about 500 quid but once you take off all your fees your posting all stuff like that was it worth it for me? No. Will I buy a blind barrel from them again? They can go on the list like bulk. It's always a risk buying blind. Um, it just goes to show that don't pay attention to what other people say about how good a company is because it's not always going to be the case. On that disappointment, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs down because this video has just been crap. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.